Good morning, David. Good morning, Salim. David, uh, can risk be mathematically predicted? And how accurate or reliable are such predictions? That's a very interesting question. Um, mathematical prediction or <coughs> formulas and algorithms and, and so on um, certainly have their place in risk management in estimating the likelihood of occurrence and the potential of impact and the, the connectivity between risks and how one risk might affect another. Simple ideas of correlation, obviously probability theory, statistical regression analysis, multivariate analysis, um, Bayes' theorem, for example, looking at ways of, of analyzing uncertainty and, and potential, um, Fourier transforms, all of these things have their place. But I think, uh, and certainly, so the, the answer to the first part of the question is yes, some characteristics of risk can be exposed and explored using mathematical approaches. Not all, uh, no, some aspects are um, subjective and, and have to be judged rather than estimated and measured. Um, but the second part of the question is quite interesting, how accurate yes. and reliable might such predictions be? And um, there's an interesting pair of words we use in, in English. I don't know whether it will translate to Arabic or other languages. Mm -hmm. And that's the difference between accuracy and precision. Yes. And I think it's really important when you ask the question, how accurate are the mathematical predictions about risk? Yes. Accuracy is not the same as precision. And of I course. think you might mean yes. precision. Yes. So maybe some of our viewers are not clear about, about the difference. They did, they did so difference let's it. say, what is the time? And if I said to you the time is after 12 o'clock, it's the afternoon. That is accurate. It is somewhere after 12 o'clock. It is the afternoon, but it's not very precise. So I, if I say to you, okay, the, the time is 14 minutes past 12, that is very precise, but it's wrong. It's actually inaccurate. It's precisely wrong. So if I said to you the time is between 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock, this is now accurate and has a, a level of precision. It's not very precise. Yes. If I said the time is between 12.12 12 and 12.14, 12 mm -hmm. now we are accurate, accurate and precise. So I think the question about accuracy with math mathematical predictions, what we're trying to do with the mathematical analysis is to quantify our uncertainty. We're trying to put numbers around the uncertainty. <clears throat> and the answer will never be a number, or it shouldn't be, because uncertainty is uncertain. Yeah. Of course it is which means that we should always be talking about ranges. And ranges... Rather than a number. A yes. number, exactly. Mm. So ranges reflect the amount of uncertainty we think there is in the situation. And there's nothing wrong with saying, I, you know, I don't have a watch, I can look at the sun, I can see it's afternoon, that's all I can tell you. Or maybe I can see it's early afternoon because the sun is high and not low. That is still accurate, but the level of precision reflects the uncertainty. Mm. So if I can say to you it's 13 minutes and now it is 14 minutes past 12 um, and be precise, well that's great, but then there isn't any uncertainty because I have a watch which I know is, is uh, controlled by radio waves, is absolutely accurate, so there's no, there is no uncertainty, I'm just reporting a fact. If there's uncertainty and I'm going to try applying a mathematical algorithm to explore that uncertainty, I have to have a range of answers. I cannot give you a number. So our mathematical predictions must always be accurate. The right answer must be in the range somewhere. Yes. I can't say to you it's between one o'clock and two o'clock, yes. which is a range, but it's wrong. Yes. <clears throat> so I have to say something which includes the right answer and then let the precision mm. reflect the uncertainty. Mm. So more the question is not how accurate, but how precise. Yes. And that entirely depends on the uncertainty that we're actually trying to analyze. Also, <coughs> we have to remember that these models are based on um, equations. Mm -hmm. uh, to some extent, these or theories uh, might not be really uh, uh, correct. Yes. Uh, also, the input of these models, uh, cool. some models, they do use uh, different parameters and these parameters or data are obtained from reality where they have intrinsic error in them. Exactly. And this will be seen in the output of these models. Yes. Yes. So data quality is essential in mm. validating the data input. Yes. You know, we have a saying, garbage in, garbage out. Yes. If you put garbage into your model, mm. 
Mm. Don't be surprised if the outputs yep. don't make sense. Yeah. The problem is with people who, who go garbage in, gospel out. I have very variable data. I'm not sure about its quality, but I really believe the output yes. as gospel truth, yes. we would say. You know, it's, yeah. it, we know it's true. Well, I'm afraid that is just making, uh, you're kidding yourself. Yes. What you want to have is, is good in, good out. Yes. And, and that's a real challenge when we're yes. gathering real data from the uncertain world. Yes, but uh, still these mathematical uh, models do <coughs> help. You have seen it in uh, meteorology, for example, prediction of the path of a storm, for example. Yes. You have uh, American and European models, for example. Yes. Sometimes they, they come very close to the reality with mm. the uh, tornado or yes, the storm or the hurricane, yes. uh, passing. And, and they would always give you a cone of uncertainty, a cone exactly. of probability. Yes. We know where the hurricane is now, yes. and we will give you a red track, which is quite narrow. We think it's going this way, and then there's a yellow track. It could be here, yes. and a it could even be out here, mm -hmm. and they're actually showing the scope of the uncertainty. Yes. Yes. The whole cone is accurate, yes. but the precision represents the uncertainty. Yes. And it's important when we're estimating quantitatively yes. that, we have both well, that we have accuracy, we yes. must have accuracy, yes. But we allow the precision to maybe be quite yes. wide, yes. because if that if we really don't know, mm -hmm. we need to express the fact that we are very uncertain. It's just somewhere in the afternoon. I can't tell you anymore. Yes. Now you know something. If we have an appointment at three o'clock, don't ask me to tell you yes. if we're late, because all I know is it's somewhere in the afternoon. Or I say, here is my very precise watch. I will tell you when it's five to three, and we need to be at the meeting. Yes. Uh, last question. Uh, what do you think? Are really uh, risk professionals tend to believe the output of these models? What makes them really being attracted to these models? I, I think risk professionals should be skeptical, should have a, always have a question mark. And so the model says this, we talked in our, the discussion about competence, about curiosity, and about having both attention to detail and the big picture. So when you get a big picture answer out of your model, which says this investment has a 50 to 60% chance of delivering value, you go, oh, I wonder if that's really true. There's your curiosity. Then you drive down into the model and you look at the risk drivers and you, you just check them. Is this one, is this one, is this one really invalid, valid parameter boundaries? Could you imagine it being outside? Have we got the relationships right? And just validate the model. And it wouldn't take long to do. So. Uh, if we do that, then I think we can trust the outputs. But our first response should be, okay, well, that's what the computer says. Mm -hmm. What do I think? Okay. And we should apply you know, the sense-making function. Just check, you know, do, does that seem to make sense? Uh, and often you'll find simple, silly mistakes like misplacing a decimal point. Yes. And you come out and, and you say, you know, the range of this project outcomes, <laughs> it could be between three and five billion pounds. Mm. What? You know, the budget is only half a million. Yes. And you just put a decimal point yes. in the yes. wrong place. Yes. So we have to apply sense making. Exactly. Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you very much.